hello fam welcome back to another video it's your girl titi and i'm here again with another banging recipe for you guys so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i made this cameroonian granola soup guys you guys know how granola soup is in every home it's eaten in every home i'm sure everybody knows this recipe but then i'm going to be showing you some special tips and tricks on how to get the best and most delicious granola soup ever so please keep watching For this recipe, I'm going to be using some boiled beef. This is boiled beef and boiled gizzard together. I have granite peas, which is the base of the soup. I also have some tomato, fresh tomato, which has been blended with a mix of green spices. Green spices basically consist of celery, parsley, um, leeks, and um, basil leaves. So I added some into this tomato while blending it. I also have here some chopped onions, I have with me some ginger, garlic, and pepper. This is fresh ginger, garlic, and pepper, which has been blended already. I have some white pepper. I have some green pepper. And of course, vegetable oil. And then I also have with me some chopped celery. This is just going to add the flavor of the granola soup. And also I have my seasoning and salt. So to begin the process, I'm just going to roast the granite in a pan. You can use an oven if you do have one. You can use an oven. Just place the granite in it and allow it to roast. And then take it out and allow it to cool down. So yeah, I have my granite with me. It's cooling down. I'm going to later on peel the granite and then winnow it. And then I'm going to grind it into this form or texture. After which, I'm going to place it in the blender as you, as you can see add in some water and blend it thoroughly to form a paste. Once the paste is formed, I'm going to pour it out in a bowl and then set it aside. Next, I'm going to be adding some vegetable oil into a heated pot. After which I'm going to saute some onions for about 2 minutes until it's transparent. Later I add in some a pinch of white pepper. You're not adding in all the white pepper at this point. Just a pinch of the white pepper and a pinch of salt. Now this is just going to help you to build the base for your soup. Because I'm going to be frying the meat in this mixture. So I'm going to try to build the base for the soup. Which is going to help to increase the flavor of the soup. So at this point, I'm adding in the beef and the gizzards and I'm just going to saute this for about one minute and allow it to fry until the meat starts getting brown, just as you can see. After which, I'm going to add in the tomato paste and I'm just going to stir this, give it a gentle stir and allow it to dry down until the oil comes to the top. At this point, the tomato has dried down and you can see the oil has come to the top. I'm just going to add in the granite paste mixture and then I'm going to give it a good stir. Just stir it gently until the tomatoes and the granite paste are properly combined. Now that we have a good mix, I'm just going to add in some water. I rinsed the blender and I added in the water into the mixture. And I want to mention that at this point, you need to add in as much water as possible. Because this water is going to help the granola to cook up completely until it's fully cooked. Now you're adding in this water and the soup is going to be very light. After the soup starts cooking, it's going to start getting thick just like you can see in the video. Now check the texture. Check the texture gently with a spoon and just make sure that the granola soup is thickening properly. You can allow it to thick again for a while after which you're going to start adding in the ingredients. I must also mention that when cooking your granola soup, make sure you never cover the pot completely. 
always cover the pot halfway. When you cover the pot completely, the granola soup is going to spill over and pour on your gas cooker and you don't want that. Now at this point, you can see that the granola soup is thickened. I'm going to add in the fresh ingredients, the fresh ginger, garlic and pepper. I'm going to add in the onions and the rest of the white pepper. And then I'm going to pour in the meat stock into the granite paste and just give it a good stir and allow everything to cook properly now i'm pouring in the meat stock at this point because the granite has already been partially cooked or almost fully cooked the advantage of adding in the fresh ingredients and the meat stock at this point is so that the fresh ingredients do not overcook if you add in the ingredients at the beginning of your cooking it's going to overcook and the granite soup is going to lose its taste after letting the ingredients boil down for about 5 minutes, go ahead to add your salt and your seasoning. Make sure you taste the granola soup before adding your salt and seasoning. Remember that the stock contains some salt and seasoning while we're boiling the meat. So make sure you add your salt and seasoning based on the taste of the soup at this point. Go ahead to add in the chopped celery. Add in the green peppers as well and then add in some vegetable oil to finalize the cooking. You're going to let this boil down for at least 5 more minutes until the soup is properly cooked. Now the texture of your granola soup totally depends on you. For some people, they like light granola soup. So if you want your granola soup to be lighter, feel free to add in some more water or some more mixed stock if you do have some. Now you can see that the granola soup is all ready and everything is boiled down nicely. The meat is cooked and the ingredients are all ready. That brings us to the end of this video. Hope you liked this video. Hope you learned something from this video. Please please give this video a thumbs up and check the description box for the details on all the ingredients used in this recipe. I'd also like to say a big thank you for all the love on my past videos. I'm so grateful that you guys have been watching and giving me your feedback. Please also leave your comments in the comment section on this video and let me know how you try this at home. My Instagram handle is going to be in the description box as well. So you can follow me on Instagram for more food content. Hope to see you guys in my next video. Love you all and remain blessed. Bye.